In today's world, assault rifles are a common sight in military forces worldwide. But during World War II, the arsenal was different. Bolt-action rifles, light machine guns, and submachine guns were the norm. But still, Nazis made one of the deadliest weapons which is still being used today, the STG-44. Let's dive into its detail. The birth of the STG-44, Hugo Schmeisser, renowned for his development of the MP-18, introduced a groundbreaking innovation to the battlefield with the STG-44, a weapon amalgamating the rapid-fire capability of a light machine gun, the potency of a bolt-action rifle, and the agility of a submachine gun. Dubbed the Sturmgewehr 44, or Assault Rifle 44 by Hitler, this formidable firearm swiftly etched its mark in military annals as the quintessential tool for both close-quarter skirmishes and long-range engagements, heralding a new era in warfare tactics. In the wake of World War I, where artillery inflicted over 60% of casualties, followed closely by the devastating impact of machine guns, the necessity for innovation in weaponry became glaringly apparent. Machine guns, with their staggering firing rates, could decimate entire regiments with alarming efficiency, while bolt-action rifles, although effective at longer distances, proved unwieldy in the trenches and tight combat spaces. The evolution of firearms, from MP18 to the Sturmgewehr. In the annals of firearms history, notable figures like John Browning in the United States and Hugo Schmeisser in the German Empire left indelible marks with their groundbreaking designs. While Browning's Colt M1911 and Browning Automatic Rifle, BAR, became iconic, Schmeiser's MP18 revolutionized warfare as the world's first successful submachine gun. Recognizing the limitations of 7.92mm rifles for trench warfare, Schmeiser engineered the MP18 to prioritize maneuverability and recoil, favoring 9mm pistol caliber rounds. Weighing 9 pounds and equipped with a side-mounted snail drum magazine, the MP-18 quickly earned favor among stormtroopers tasked with seizing enemy trenches. The success of the MP-18 paved the way for post-war innovations aimed at bridging the gap between pistol and machine gun rounds. The concept of an intermediate cartridge, proposed by Captain Pitterit, gained traction as it promised to conserve resources while enhancing troops' carrying capacity. In response to the evolving needs of warfare, the German army in 1934 initiated the development of a mid-range cartridge that would eventually lead to the birth of the Sturmgewehr. The birth of the assault rifle, revolutionizing warfare. The German invasion of the Soviet Union in June 1941 spurred the development of new rifles. Despite employing innovative blitzkrieg tactics, the German infantry still relied on bolt-action rifles, machine guns, and submachine guns SMGs, similar to other European armies. However, facing the Soviets revealed the German army's lack of mass production weapons like the SVT-40 semi-automatic rifle and the PPS-41 submachine gun. This deficiency became more pronounced in 1942 when the United States entered the war, equipping its soldiers with automatic rifles like the BAR, the M1 Garand, and the M1A1 carbine. To counter this, the FG-42 or Paratrooper Rifle 42 was introduced, primarily for the elite Fallschirmjägers. Although designed for paratroopers, it paved the way for the Gewehr 43 or Carabiner 43, which provided the army with a competitor against the SVT-40 on the Eastern Front. However, Hitler, upon learning of the MKB-42 program, ordered its halt, fearing strain on the munition industry and logistical challenges. To circumvent this, the Heereswaffenamt renamed the rifle machine Pistole 43 or MP43, deceiving Hitler into believing it was an upgraded SMG. When Hitler witnessed the rifle's performance, he was so impressed that he suggested naming it the Sturmgewehr, or Assault Rifle, thus birthing a new class of weaponry. The impact of the STG-44 in World War II. The STG-44, despite its initial status as a prototype, commenced mass production in early 1944, equipped with a standard 30-round magazine. Boasting a remarkable rate of fire exceeding 540 rounds per minute, a muzzle velocity of 685 meters per second, and an effective range spanning 300 to 600 meters, 
this innovative firearm swiftly proved its worth as a crucial tactical tool for German troops. Featuring a 16-inch barrel, it bridged the gap between submachine guns, rifles, and light machine guns, facilitating engagements at various distances. Its manageable recoil enabled soldiers to unleash full auto sprays or opt for semi-automatic fire, ensuring accuracy, particularly when confronted with adversaries armed with Mosin Nagant bolt-action rifles. Weighing a mere 11 pounds with a curved magazine and measuring just 37 inches in length, the STG-44 was perfectly suited for intermediate ranges. Attachments of STG-44 Late in the war, the German army, known as the Heer, introduced a remarkable addition to the STG-44 to amplify its effectiveness at close quarters combat. This addition was the Krumlauf, a specialized curved barrel equipped with a periscope, enabling soldiers to shoot around corners without exposing themselves to enemy fire. The Krumlauf came in two variations, tailored for infantry and tank crews respectively. The curved barrel was available in versions with bends of 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degree angles. Despite its effectiveness, the Krumlov had a notably short lifespan, especially with increasing angles. For instance, the 30 degrees version could fire only about 300 rounds before its efficacy diminished, with even fewer rounds for higher angle variants. The stress induced by the angle sometimes caused bullets to shatter, resulting in fragmented shots akin to a shotgun blast. Furthermore, some STG-44 rifles were outfitted with telescopic sights, originally designed for use with the FG-42 and Gewehr 43, to enhance accuracy at ranges exceeding 200 meters. Legacy of the STG-44 Assault Rifle The STG-44 Assault Rifle, with over 420,000, produced alongside 822 million rounds by the end of World War II, enhanced the combat capability of German soldiers, but didn't sway the war's outcome. Nevertheless, its innovation left a mark, leading to the development of improved designs, such as the iconic AK-47 by the Soviets and the M-16 by the Americans. Hugo Schmeisser and his team, creators of the STG-44, influenced both designs, with Schmeisser possibly aiding in the development of the AK-47. The STG-44's influence persisted through the Cold War, serving alongside the AK-47 and M16, and later found use in conflicts in Vietnam and beyond, earning a legendary status for its reliability. Its legacy endures today as a cornerstone of military arsenals worldwide. That's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates. Thanks for watching.